All right, guys, so today I'm trying out a bit of a different camera. Now I think this is a little bit higher quality. So if you didn't wonder why I was uploading, um, one sec, here's my binder right here. So I'll show you guys something. Um, I didn't get to around to uploading a video last week, but basically what did happen was I got the last Sun and Moon base set pack from the store, and it was an Incident Roar GX that came out of that. Now, I'm not sure how much this card is worth. I'm never sure what my cards are worth right when I get them. Haven't even checked into this, but I'm assuming that it's going to be 2 to $5 because Sun and Moon base set is a little bit hard to pull stuff. So I actually have a double box, but I'm not going to open both of them. From, so I got this from Costco. So I'm going to open this shiny Tapu Coco first. And then second, I'll open the Lycan Rock, which I will open later on this week. So I'm going to open these up real quick, just to take the wrapping off. And really, since I'm going to keep both the small cards, but I'm going to give somebody else the big cards. Not one of you guys, just somebody that I know. And I'm going to keep the Evolutions pack sealed, I think. Because that one is going to ramp up in price soon. And it's already ramping up in price. So now there's no one of those in this box, but I'm not the biggest fan of Guardians Rising either. So, I mean, let's just get into it. I mean, it's shiny Tapu Coco and I already have the normal one. So let's go perfectly right beside my other Tapu Coco because they're literally the exact same cards, but this one's shiny. And I think that the shiny one is way more beautiful. Now, I think you guys will agree with me once you see it, because I really do love magenta as a color. And I believe this thing is magenta, or it's just like... You know, reversed, all shinies look different. Some shinies are a bit, you know, cooler than others. Like, I love the shiny Metagross a lot more than I love some of the other shiny Pokemon out there. Right, so yeah, I got an insanely good price on those. So these were $18 Canadian for both the boxes. Now that's pretty darn crazy. Now what we want is we want at least one ultra rare pull from each box. Because that's normally what you get, but sometimes you don't even get that from the box. Ooh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's absolutely, you know, amazing looking card right there. Tapu Coco GX. Mm. Alright, so I'm not going to compare it to the other one right away. So we'll get the Steam Siege out of the way, then the Sun and Moon, then the two Guardians Rising. Wait one sec, I gotta get our pen for good luck. Here it is, it's the, it's the good luck pen. Uh, we had good luck last time we did that. So let's go open the Steam Siege. It just feels so great to, you know, be opening packs on the channel. And we did get some new subscribers. Oh, whoops. Forgot to give you guys the code. There's the code right there. And you'll get your Tapu Coco. All right. Solid green code card, which isn't terrible. I mean, like, I believe you can still get like, hollows when you have a solid green code card. But I mean, it's Steam Siege. So, you know, expect nothing more than a solid green code card, right? Ooh, Azumarill with the Steam Siege. It's shiny! No way! No way! Right away, we put, we get a shiny Azumarill. Oh! Yo, I have no idea what this is worth, but I will try to put the price up on the screen. Because last time I failed miserably and I accidentally turned closed captioning on. But I think this is shiny Azumarill. Since when is Azumarill yellow? This could be worth a lot. It could be worth absolutely nothing. I have absolutely no idea. But, oh my goodness... Putting it off to a great start if this is worth something. So, wow, that is absolutely crazy. I'm actually going to put this with the pulls. I might even sleeve this up. It's so crazy. All right, you know what? It might be worth nothing since it's just an uncommon card. Wait, is it? It's not secret rare either, I don't think. But that is pretty weird to get a yellow Azumarill. All right, Crow Yunk, Shellos, Mankey. Ponyta, and a Toxicroak. It's a pretty devilish looking Toxicroak, wouldn't you agree? 
So I'm not sure if that is actually worth a lot or not. But it's a yellow azumarill, and azumarill is blue, if you didn't know. So that's a little... It's different. Another solid green code card, but hey, what are you going to do about it? Four cards for Sun and Moon. Almost screwed up there. That would have been bad. Alright. Double color of Synergy. Dragonair. Alima, I guess that's her name. Cutie Flag. Dratini. Spiro. Psyduck, Eevee, Rabombi, and Incinera. That's a real good Incinera. And that Rabombi is actually a reverse rare, so I'm going to put that with the pulls just because it's a reverse. Oh, and I knocked the box over. But that's okay. So I believe that Shiny Azumarill is basically the pull of the day because we didn't get a holo yet. So I'm just praying that we get something out of one of these packs. Another solid green code. Come on. Don't put it down to one pack and make me all, you know, feel like it. This is just sketchy and I shouldn't be buying this stuff. It's rigged. Look, ghost energy. Rescue stretcher. Watchog. Carvana. Barboach. Phantom. Machop. Flashling, Slowpoke, and a Whiskash. Of that Whiskash in reverse. One last pack. Alright, you know what? If we get nothing from this, I might go into the second box. Like, maybe later on today, but probably not. Because it's already 3 o'clock. Another solid green code. Are you kidding me? No. Goodness, this has only happened to me once before where I've gotten all solid green codes. My goodness, we only have two pulls, and one is a reverser, and that's probably our best. All right, there we go. There's the code for you guys. Maybe you'll get something on the TCG online. I mean, I didn't get that lucky today. Fairy energy. How? Uh... Rimsicott, Pat Rat, Gotha, Castworm, Denticool, Cleffa, Changmo, and a Terminator. Non hollow. Okay. Well, struck out on that opening. Other than this, um, Tapu Coco GX and possibly worth a lot of money. Um, Azumarill. I don't know, since when those team seeds just have randomly, you know, yellow colored stuff. So here's the big card. This one's not going to be mine. I'm going to send it to a friend. But as you can see, it's the exact same as the Tapu Coco that I opened from the tin. But it's shiny, so I'm not sure if this one's worth more or less. Or if they're worth, like, literally the exact same. So thanks for watching. Um, we just hit 17 subscribers. I would like to get to 20 this month of June. But hey, it's, it's been great just doing the channel. I mean, we've been doing it for over a month now. I've opened like, I don't know, 10 things maybe. It's been really fun doing all this. But hey, win some, lose some. I'll just go over the polls real quick. It's an Azumarill, which is possibly worth a lot of money. And Arabone B, which is just the river's hollow and like worth... Less than 10 cents, probably. So, thanks for watching. If you please do... Yeah, I'm not going to tell you to like the video. You might just hate my content, you know. Have a good day. Um, stuff is opening up again, so maybe I can get more cards. That's it.